Sharpie time! Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be doing another Sharpie drawing video because so many of you have been loving those. When I saw Sharpie, the ultimate collection on the Target website, I knew I had to get it because no words. There's so many different colors in here and some that I didn't have already, so uh, exciting. If you're wondering, this retails for about $30 on the Target website. I did have a 20 off 100 coupon and I get 5% off with my red card. Not sponsored, but I just wanna let you guys know I got kind of a discount on this. So what you guys can expect in this video is one, swatches, two, a little bit of a review and my thoughts on this set, followed by two brand new pieces of artwork. Without further ado, let's open this up. Ooh, fresh Sharpies and so many colors. Look at these, oh my gosh. I'm really excited to see this gray and the pastel pink. So nice. This looks really pretty. It's like a salmon-y one, and this one looks really pretty as well. I think that looks the same. Hmm. Also, the artwork on the box looks really, really cool. Kind of reminds me of Coco, but I actually haven't seen that movie yet. All right, let's get swatching. You can see I have some general pencil guidelines on here, just so it looks a little bit neater. And we're gonna start with the blacks, well, black and then grays and a navy blue. Wow, so juicy. At first I thought that they looked exactly the same, but in person this one is a little bit lighter. This one has a really nice cool tone to it. And I actually can't decide now which one I like better. I don't know when I became so interested in gray markers, but they are very exciting to me lately. Moving on to the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. Wow, this swatch is definitely not going to be very satisfying. It's just a bunch of scribbles. Wee. Is this one running out? No. These definitely don't cover a big area very well. You have to color pretty slow with them. Not necessarily a bad thing, but just trying to do a big swatch like this, not my best plan. So here we have all 45 markers. Before I move on to coloring this, I'm going to just give you my thoughts on the set real quick. One thing I am kind of disappointed about is in the fine assortment, there is not a true orange. This is actually called tangerine. It's more of a yellow orange, but this is the orange in the fine point set. And it's really a red orange. It looks more red. So I'm not too thrilled about that. I think they definitely could have taken out one of these greens because there's just so many. Even this blue right here is very similar to that one. So they could have moved this really beautiful blue ice up here or the mint one up here to the fine assortment. Personal preference, I actually wish that there were 45 different colors in the fine assortment and then another set for the ultra fine so you can collect both of them and just get so many different colors instead of having 25 of one color and 20 of the other in addition to some of the marker colors being very similar some of the caps are also you can't tell these grays apart or the greens really Ooh. 
This piece is pretty simple, but it does take kind of a while to fill in all these colors. I think that this one actually took me longer than the second piece, even though it looks like it should be the other way around. But you'll see that soon. So I'm creating a quote unquote rainbow. I always do my rainbows with colors that really aren't part of the rainbow. And I also tend to start with yellow, which may aggravate some of you. I know I've gotten comments on like, why the heck do you start your rainbows with yellow? Um, just because I think it looks pretty. Blending Sharpie ink is not easy. It's not exactly what they're made for, but I am trying the best that I can. I find that using the ultra fine Sharpies, if there is a color that is similar to the ones that I'm trying to blend together, using the ultra fine to create these little hair lines almost, kind of just a little bit of texture, um, that really helps. But I don't have a transition color for every single shade that I'm trying to go through, so some of these aren't going to look as seamless as others. That's okay though, I'm basically just experimenting with this and just trying to make something that's really colorful and bold. All the colors are down, now I'm working on outlining with a black sharpie and this does bleed a little bit as in it kind of feathers out and doesn't create a very crisp line. It's not super noticeable especially since I am using a bristol piece of paper which is a really thick piece, it's not just computer paper. The key to making sharpie art have more depth is to use other elements, other art supplies. So I did also want to bring in some highlight to this, so you will see that I'm going to be using a white gel pen, and I did use a white Posca paint pen as well. I don't think I showed that. This gray is amazing for shadows, so I did add some drips to this, and the gray is creating a shadow behind that just by kind of outlining and putting it off to one side to make it really look like light is hitting it. And then at the bottom, I did incorporate the gray as well with a thicker outline to make it look like it's popping off the page to give it a little bit of depth. I will color in this second drawing, but first I want to give you guys an update on the little pot I made last week when I tested out the potter's wheel. If you haven't seen that video, I will list it in the iCard and the description box below. The clay wasn't dry enough to paint then, so I wanted to give you guys an update here. This is what it turned out like. It took me probably two to two and a half hours to paint this design. I think it's pretty cute. Let me know what you guys think. I sketched out a very simple giraffe doodle outline and I'm just going to color this in with different Sharpie colors. Wow, what an explanation. I don't think that there really is much to explain for this. I'm just transitioning between the colors. I'm not really doing a blend per se. I'm just kind of going with the flow and doing a color blocking type thing. And at the end, I am going to put some black and gray outlines to add more detail, but that's about it. I guess you guys can just hear some tunes.
Here they both are. I think that I like the giraffe better, but I want to know what you guys think. Leave a comment below telling me your favorite piece from this video. I like them both, but the giraffe is just so cute. If you never want to miss out on a new video here, I do post every single Friday. I'm a day late this week because of Christmas. It got a little hectic, but I do hope that you guys had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and that you have a wonderful New Year. I'll see you for a What I Got For Christmas video in a couple days, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Be sure to ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you will know when I post. There's a squirrel outside the window right now, he's so cute. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, please. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. If you enjoy my art and drawing videos and want to see more, I'm going to include some playlists in the description box below and the iCard as well. There's a lot of options, so hopefully you guys find something you enjoy.